So after that experience with the trucks and the grader, we just stopped and checked the tires on the caravan and the overall condition. We drove, what did you say, 150 kilometers and we have another 200 to go, 230 actually. 200, 200 to go. Yeah, and we are in the middle of nothingness. This is on the way to Bidori, on the, what is it called, Diamantina Development, Developmental Road. <laughs> Dead road. Tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, the road from Windora to Bedori. Birdsville is in that direction and we didn't take that turn. But the road there won't be much difference. You can still see the dust. I was just going to say that. Can you see? Uh, I will zoom in, but the, the dust clouds from the trucks and the grader still up there in the horizon. We were thinking it's, it's a fire or something. Yeah, we thought it's and, uh, because, uh, the burning somewhere. It's very high. Yeah, and because uh, yeah, you don't have much wind today, that's why, I yeah. guess. It's not very windy. It's going, yeah. Hey, it's not as windy as the last few days. No. It's actually quite pleasant at the moment. Yeah, at the moment it's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. So, we are in the middle of whoop whoop going to the middle of nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these are the road conditions. Gravel road. So we are glad it's not raining actually. Because, <laughs> if it starts raining, it's not much fun anymore. We're glad we are passing this through here in uh, dry conditions, hey? Yeah. You don't want to go this way. You don't want to go that way when it's raining. And the rain will come on the weekend. We have Thursday today, so we're just trying to escape the rain. Once Friday, again. Friday. <laughs> Once it's again, trying to escape the rain. We're not escaping. We get some rain, but maybe not that much. But you're trying to escape the chaos. Yeah, the chaos. <laughs> Yeah, staying in the outback and Simon decided to clean the car. <laughs> Dali is a bit annoyed, but he had a good run in Vindora, so... Yeah, he had a good run in Vindora, Troubling days. Yep. in uh, on the Kim side. Cooper's Creek. Cooper's Creek, yeah. Mm. All right, uh, let's take the last 200 and... Uh, 172 kilometers actually. No, oh, this, um, yeah. Uh, the is 189 kilometers, sorry. So uh, 98. 198 kilometers, 2 hours and 22 minutes. So that means, yeah, 150, 170 we already did.
that's a line up here for for the fuel in Biduri. So my wife she went up to the pub. Just grab a coffee. Coming? Oh, a golden one. Golden coffee. Golden coffee. Coffee or cappuccino? Cappuccino. <laughs> of course, yeah. Alright, so what was the story? Oh, by uh, the way, they're running out of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coffee beans, I mean. You got you got this signature? Yes, I got a signature in the book. Yeah. From the from the guy who actually wrote the text in the book. Oh, okay. Ian, yes. And I had a nice chat to the people behind the bar. They are so busy. I know. <laughs> Yeah. So what was happening with our fuel? I was here uh, and I said, oh, they're lining up here for another um, parking area here. Yeah. And I said, I'll pass there. And I saw now the line goes straight to the end of the road where the caravan park is. Yeah. And <coughs> yeah, engine, engine sounds a little bit um, strange strange mm -hmm. uh, because we had no we drove 400 kilometers and um, you were running out of fuel uh, I don't know if we we're running out of fuel or the, the pump was a little bit struggling and so past the area made the u-turn up there fill up with the jerry can <laughs> we had still and so uh, we have another range of 100 kilometers but it's not enough for getting to the next fuel um, station to Polia. Yeah. So we have to line up, and I asked this guy with a, and they said they are shutting down the pumps at seven o'clock tonight. I read that somewhere. You can go. Yeah, I want. To, I don't want to stay here. So um, this is the line to the fuel station, and yeah. what do you think? How many caravans? Um, 20, 30, 40? Yeah, something like that. Mm. <laughs> That's the fun, and we haven't even been part of the big bash. We just came yeah. from from Windora yesterday, so yeah. we thought we were skipping the, the crowds, but now we just run into it. So, yes. But then most of them may stay for the races. On the other hand, if it starts raining, they will cancel the races. So you can imagine that.
Kalkedön Hotel. We are at Three Rivers. Yep. We stayed overnight here after coming from Mount Isa yesterday. And today we are heading to... Leckert Falls. Yeha, finally. After we tried unsuccessful in March due to all the road closures with um, all the floods. By the way, this was... Hang on, come closer. Well. Come closer. By the way, this uh, we couldn't get to this pub uh, because that road to this pub was uh, closed as well. So it's yeah, a you will see in a, in a video later why that might be closed during that season because the river yeah. crossing we did yesterday was dry or well, mostly dry. But if there is water in and it, you I can't. Just, I just walked down there, and there's a river. There's going this way. Huh. Um, Beautiful walk up there. Um, How far away, roughly? Uh, from here, I would say 400 meters. Really? Yeah. You want me to have, have a look? You can have have yeah, a walk. I'll down. see, and yeah, yeah, while you're filling up with water. So, anyway, we had a nice evening in the bar yesterday. Yeah. Usually we don't do much pub, um, you know, things. Stays and we only go for dinner. But yesterday was really nice. The owners or the owner, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, very, very friendly and welcoming host. Yeah. And the two girls who are working uh, here at the moment, two yeah, Irish yeah. girls, they are also very lovely. Yeah. And we met some other caravaners. Actually, we stayed over there, which is like the free camping area. So you have to be have fully self-contained, yes, and you can have a fire over there. But if you stay behind the pub, there are toilets and powered sites, but you can't have a fire in the, in the back. But the pub is really nice and yeah, the cappuccino, Simon, oh, yes. how's the cappuccino? The cappuccino is by far the best what I had for the last, I would say, three months. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's a it's seven dollars for, but it's, it's, oh, it's a, a large big cup. one. It's a large one. Yeah. And oh, the, that, that, f <coughs> that flavor and, and you have it's absolutely they also they also serve meals like for dinner you have um, a menu and a, quite a good menu and not expensive no, just normal normal, 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 normal pub right prices price, yeah. cheaper than somewhere else in the outback yeah, actually yeah. yep they have a palmy for 30 dollars yeah and we yeah. had we had burgers for 16 dollars or 16.50 yeah. and usually and we, we came uh, across some fast. pubs where you pay like 20 25 dollars for for a burger now yeah a and palmy six thirty six or something. Thirty five dollars was yeah. a palmy at the yeah. manga, and um, the fish basket they charged forty dollars for a fish basket. And forty. Forty. In Aromanga. In Aromanga. Wow, it's it's yeah, the first town from the sea. I yeah, mean, no, it has no, to no, travel. No, but, um, it's <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't we didn't go for a meal in in Aromanga, but because I mean, you know, as much as we want to we support the community, we have to also look after our money. We can't spend money in every pub we come across. And, uh, and the other things, we had some shots yesterday. <laughs> um, what's it called? Tidi, 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 bidi. Tidi, bidi. <laughs> and so they, they some are liquor mix mixtures. Mixtures. You can only have it in this pub. Yeah, because <laughs> no, they mix it on else. the bar. They don't sell yeah. it. They don't sell. We they don't sell uh, bottles. <laughs> they don't sell bottles. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had some fun. Secret, secret, um, secret ingredients. Ingredients. They don't. They don't tell you the ingredients. You can guess them, but they don't tell you, and they don't confirm anything. <laughs> and the bottles they use, they are not labeled, so this, it's their own yeah. secret ingredients. I like it. Yeah. Um, I put some pictures in uh, about the pub here, and it is now ten o'clock. We're filling up one tank. It's getting hot. And, and uh, two tanks. On the end, it's uh, two tanks. So we. Well, one tank is still nearly full. Yeah, nearly full. I top it up now, and yeah. then um, the get other another one. one. Just to save some fuel, so you also have 4G here. Yeah, full phone with reception. Telstra. So you don't with have Telstra. to. You don't. Ha yeah, with Telstra um, or Boost. We are with Boost. We have 4G. Yeah, uh, you don't have to pull out your Starlink if you don't want to. If you don't have one, but. Uh,
have another crack in the windscreen and thankfully Simon has a repair kit in the car so <laughs> here we are next to the Burgerville Roadhouse having a break fixing the windscreen temporarily before it's cracking the window completely and uh, then we keep going cattle trucks all the way we just filled up at the roadhouse across the road two dollar 45 a liter and diesel oh, that's for unleaded two dollar 45 unleaded 91 and the diesel is some two dollar 66 or something quite expensive That's the repair kit he's using. You fix it with screen repair kit. He used it a couple of times. And I don't know if he has some left, but um, very handy. Nobody. We just had a run and some water. He can keep sleeping now. Huh? We have another one and a half to two hours to go. Another two hours to go. to the sun. Is that good? Yep. So you have to do it in a sunny spot? Yep. Ah. Because of erecting. And have you got any spare now? Any left? Or? Just a little bit in here. Still. still? Okay, so you can use it a couple of times. That's good. So you can use it up to five times. Okay. Depends on how big the crack is. Oh. Alrighty. So that's <coughs> what you can use it for. For the windscreen. Yeah, the windscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star. For stars, bulls eyes, ships, and cracks. Cracks. Oh. Um, I found out when you got a crack, so you have to replace it after. This is bigger than uh, 10 centimeters mm -hmm. or 100 mil, mm -hmm. and you have to replace the windscreen. But mm -hmm. you, with this one, you just pull it in, and you got little bit plastic um, sheets like, a, and it's reacting to the. Um, UV um, from the sun, yep. and it stops um, that the crack goes further, so oh, it's not cracking. It stops cracking, yeah, 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 so, yeah. So the crack is already there, but it's yeah. stopping. Um, it's not getting the, larger. The, the, the getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So emergency repair, yeah, basically. Just if if you're going a lot of um, gravel roads, dirt roads, mm. um, and you have incoming traffic. Yeah, upcoming traffic. That is um, when it's happening. Yeah. Mm, pretty much, yeah. Alrighty. So you leave that on now, or for well, how you long? Can leave it on. It's, it's glued, glued to the windscreen. So. Okay, so we keep going now. Fantastic. <laughs> Reminder: Don't forget the stone stomper. Yep. If you got one. <laughs> We had this Always one double here. check, yeah. yeah. We got it's this once. Pretty much, one. oh, how, many, how often? Twice or three times now? Yeah, one, each In side a year, which is not much. First time we forgot it pretty much immediately after we fitted it. At the first few stops. And then uh, another two times over the year. But um, it's not too bad. Yeah. When we stop for fuel or... Just having a drink. 
a break. Yeah. Just check everything, double check. Uh, Do the safety checks. Let the air out. <laughs> yeah, now the gas. Yeah, the gas. The because it's expanding. It's blowing, blowing bigger. Yeah. And then, uh, <coughs> because of the heat and the sun. Ready. Let's keep going. <laughs>